Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter while working with Ionic 2 in Visual Studio. Our viewer has reached out with a specific question about the live reload feature not functioning as expected. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To address the issue with live reload not working in your Ionic 2 project, first, ensure that you have the correct configuration in your project settings. Next, you can try running your project using the command line instead of Visual Studio. This often resolves live reload issues. If you are still facing issues with multiple Ionic projects, consider changing the default port for each project to avoid conflicts. Finally, ensure that your Visual Studio and Ionic CLI are updated to the latest versions, as updates often fix bugs and improve functionality. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix live reload issues in your Ionic 2 project, you need to manually configure the watch task. Add a specific field to your package.json. This field should have been included by default when the project was created, but it often isn't. You can also try using Task Runner Explorer, but it may not work. After making this change, remember to reopen your solution for it to take effect. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the live reload issue in Ionic 2 with Visual Studio, there's a manual solution. First, check Al Tone's answer for part of the solution. I found that a fix exists, but hasn't been officially released. You can apply it manually by following a few steps. First, copy the contents of the watcher.js file from GitHub. You can find it at the provided link. Next, locate the watcher.js file on your machine. For example, it might be in the program data folder under Visual Studio. Finally, replace the existing watcher.js file with the one you copied. This should resolve the issue and enable live reload. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.